Okay, so we're going to just show here uh, what it's like currently to run uh, Dying Light uh, version 1.5 on my Linux machine. Uh, here we see the main screen, uh, which is Steam. Over here we have another monitor. Down in this location here I have um, system monitor running so I can keep track of CPU, network, and uh, memory use. Uh, there's the uh, sensors output from the CPU, and up here is the command line that Steam is running on that shows some logs that's going on when the thing is started. So let's just go over here, and we're going to click on play, and now we're going to start running Dying Light. So there's the, the welcome screen, and we start seeing the uh, white bar moving on the bottom. This window always opens, but that appears to be something within GNOME and doesn't really actually change the game. Uh, over here now, we can see that the, the line has moved across the bottom, and System Manager is, is doing something. The CPU is cranking along. We're seeing some peaks there. And there is the window coming up right now. Uh, with that now playing, you can see that it's backing off a little bit. We're now over here to this portion, which is working just fine. And the CPU is stabilized, and it's now down, uh, running about 20%. We're now on the opening animation, which runs just fine. The eyes of the world have been glued. But we'll get over that. And now we're coming to the meat of this. There's our welcome screen. Press any key to continue. And we're continuing. Down here, CPU use is also still nice and low. Starting to get some peaks as it started to do its thing. Here you can see it's calculating. There's the game music that says that it's done and we see the game screen come up and bang now we're at the corruption and this is what's been going on this entire time so you can see the UI is all corrupted the display in the background is all the colors and textures are all off uh, down here CPU is stabilizing at about 40% average usage so it's not a CPU issue in that we're not running anywhere near max for all six cores. If we go up here, I can actually cycle through the various parts of the UI, and you can see that it's working. I can use the mouse, the mouse is moving around, the mouse will also highlight, it all works, but the fonts are all corrupt. And if I click on something, you'll see it switched over. And now, in that case, it just crashed. 